I think it's also important that I've sort of rushed ahead here. Do you want to talk about the Wraith using standard Galactic port part as well? I'm not sure. On on one hand, it would be a nice little nugget mm. that uh, uh, if I if I slip it in, uh, then. Uh, then it would be some somewhere in in this paragraph. Hmm. I think it's a nice. Mo I think it's a nice thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me read it out first. So basically. Uh, as uh, as we're writing all this out, one of our sort of base <laughs> main principles of one of our main assumptions is that uh, not everybody speaks the same language. However, when two people are able of understanding each other without any any without too much hassle then the re we, we we will present it to reader as just normal english without any weirdo words or or any of that and there are there are in universe do that to enable that or more uh, or to be precise there's the the rain universe devices uh devices and apps and databases that uh, translate between a given language and the uh, shared or shared second language so if you don't know the second language then you're fucked anyway then you, then <laughs> you still need somebody to translate for you but as long as you as long as you have good enough uh, knowledge of the uh, quote unquote standard galactic or gala yeah standard galactic then uh, then uh, you get access to many other languages through that and uh, the point here is that uh, Jewel's home one one of her homeworld languages that's her home language is is not standard galactic like uh, basically what we're saying is standard galactic is nobody's native language <laughs> 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 it is it is the shared trade language and it is maintained as a second language it's ki kind of like international english in our days it's easy enough and uh, and uh, and because it is nobody's nobody's home language it doesn't even even if it does evolve naturally it is sort of maintained in a certain standardized state if Esperanto had actually been a success because mm, no, the, the no. Thing, thing, no uh, Esperanto is a completely artificial language and I don't think that yeah that what well, I would say that this might be my head cannon but uh, mm. but uh, <laughs> but the head cannon says that standard galactic didn't uh, they didn't just come up with it mm. it was uh, it was a sort of it was a result of uh, creolation and and uh, pigeonization of various formats of localized English based languages or some 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 maybe not so English based but there was strong enough connection with the old earth English that it retained a component to it yeah so it's like standard galactic is to modern English as modern English is to Roman Latin <laughs> there you go <laughs> there's the money shot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now this all leads us to the point <coughs> that uh, Wraith is using, in this scene, Wraith is using Standard Galactic. And one of the points that we have made earlier is that Standard Galactic itself is, is somewhat, uh, somewhat dull and not very expressive. And, and the potential flavor nugget that we could bring into the scene is that he is using this rather dull and and uh, and business-like language in a rather poetic manner, which has a jarring effect. So, so the uh, uh, 
uh, related quote here would be somehow he managed to make standard galactic sound poetic, perversely so.